Hello guys, welcome to Elite Dangerous Horizons. So now it's possible to land on planets in the game. This is a short tutorial on how to do it. And it'll also be the first time that I actually do it myself. I have a checklist here of stuff we need to do. I'll put that in the description to this video as well. So the first thing you want to do is head in here and outfitting. And you want to check and make sure that you have a planetary approach suite. It should be installed by default on all of your ships if you have Elite Dangerous Horizons. If you don't, you will not have it and you will not be able to land on planets. If you for some reason do not have it, sell your ship, buy it again and it should be there. You will also need this planetary vehicle hangar and that can be a little bit more tricky to find. So go to a high tech system and buy one if you can't find one near yourself. So you buy that and on small ships it's a size 2 module. And there's also a vehicle bay with a vehicle slot. And remember to buy an actual vehicle to go in there. You just click on this and then you buy the vehicle. So when you have those two modules, you're all set. So let's go. Right guys, so now we're out in space. So it's time to figure out which moon we want to land on. So you'll pull up your system map or the galaxy map. And here in the system map, you'll see these are the ones that you can actually land on because it's blue it has a blue circle if you look down the navigation list here you'll also see which one you can land on they'll have this blue icon next to them so we'll just go to the closest one which is this one here so lock destination and super cruise ah there's also a surface map let's just check that out There's a lead depot there. That's probably on the actual planet, maybe. All right, let's go there. So we'll lock that in and super cruise. Drive charging. So you don't need a big ship to be able to land and use the vehicle hangar. And both modules are pretty cheap. So it's not a big deal. You can do this even if you just started out in the game. So we're getting near to the planet here. So we should soon try and enter orbital cruise speed. And it'll do that automatically when you get near enough to the planet. So here we are at the planet. So now we'll try and orbit it. I think we have to get below the blue line there. So here we have a new instrument and that's an altimeter and some other stuff that'll help you not come in too fast with your descent. So now we are in orbital flight. So now we just need to enter glide out of orbital cruise this will also happen automatically as long as you don't fly too fast into the planet that'll just drop you out of super cruise so now it glide just engaged so now we basically just need to find a place to land and avoid crashing into the planet but look at the moon here with all of the craters. Looks amazing. Glide complete. So now we're just flying over the planet. So let's try putting down the landing gear here. I'm flying a bit closer to the surface. Landing gear deployed. I'm just slowly descending onto the planet here in a vertical line using the thrusters. And now we can actually see there on the right in a heads up display how close we are to the surface. We are just one kilometer over the surface. So I'll just slowly descend. There we go. Now our radar there changed. Let's so slow down. So we'll take the throttle to nothing on suitable terrain so we do need to find another spot so we can see the shadow of our own ship there on the ground so now we have an alignment that's okay in the hut so let's try descending so we have a successful landing here so now we'll uh, enter the vehicle menu by pressing free key on the keyboard right here. 
And here we can switch between the SRV and the ship. So here we are in our planetary vehicle. <laughs> a very small step for man, but a giant leap for mankind. <laughs> Driving around, feels like a dune buggy. Let's try taking some speed off. It should have some thrusters. Or one of these keys. Uh, the thruster is right there. Yeah, you can uh, sort of launch off the planet surface, but you have to be careful. You can take fall damage. So I wonder how we get back to our ship. Uh, it's right over there. Let's go take a look at the ship. You have to remember that your vehicle has fuel and you can run out of fuel. Let's just uh, use the thrusters a little bit here. And we have to back up a little bit from our ship. So let's do that. There we go. And now we can uh, use the thruster to get up here. Just take a look a little bit around. <laughs> I'll come right down again. All right, I'll engage a head look here. And we'll take a look at the star sky from the moon. That's nice. So what's that over here? Let's go take a look. Maybe it's just rocks. But there's supposed to be some materials here that you can salvage. I'm obviously not sure that they would be on this moon here. And the materials that you can find is for a synthesis. It's called. And you just need to deploy your cargo scoop on the SRV and drive over it, I think, to pick it up. I'm not exactly sure what that does yet. They still have to implement a lot of stuff in Elite Dangerous Horizons. This is pretty nice. I kind of want to go to an ice planet. Pretty much everything you can do here is drive around and look for the crafting material for synthesis. And just have fun. <laughs> and explore the planets. If you press the third key on your keyboard, you get back to the vehicle menu here. Where you can activate the turret. Let's try doing that. Okay, so now we're up here. <laughs> now we can shoot. So I guess you could have planetary battles later on. You can see uh, the SRV has shields as well. Alright, let's uh, go back to the ship. So now we have to board the ship again. So let's drive into the yellow light over here. It's probably where you need to be in order to get back in the ship. There we go. So now we can transfer cargo. We can dismiss the ship or we could board the ship. So let's go back in the ship. So now our SIV gets loaded back into the ship and we will be ready to leave the planet. All right, let's go. Just doing a vertical thrust upwards and then I'll take the landing gear in. Landing gear, do throttle away from the planet here. Give it a little boost. And then we'll engage Super Cruise. to align with the escape vector to get away from the planet because we are mass locked I guess. It's over here. There we go. Alright guys, we moved away from the planet. So this is how planetary landings work in Elite Dangerous Horizons. It should be much more fun now to explore and find those little hidden gems of planets around the galaxy. 
And I'm really looking forward to what they do with this in the further expansions that they already promised that will be free for everyone who owns Horizons. Let everyone know how your first planetary landing went in the comments below. And thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.